What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back once again here today in Wreckfest, pulling up to the Coyote Park Oval for the very first time. This is a new track from the very track pack to maybe the new craziest super speedway. It's basically Pocono, but the banking is turned up quite a bit. So I'm thinking we're going to have ourselves quite a bit of fun today with these NASCAR legends. But before we do, of course, to go big time auto racing like we do here on this channel, you have to have a big time sponsor. Can you believe it? That's exactly what we have. Thanks to Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network that gives you instant security from various forms of online terminators such as data theft, tracking, surveillance, commercial targeting, and much, much more. Surfshark is perfect for all my fellow gamers out there as it lets you play in privacy and security protecting your IP from unwanted onlookers while allowing access to games, content, and deals that may be restricted or delayed in your region by placing you virtually anywhere in the world. It's all kept simple to control and is available as an easy to use app or browser extension to conveniently keep your online presence encrypted and safe across an unlimited amount of devices. You can use my code SOUNDHEAD to get 83% off plus three extra months for free, Surfshark has 24-7 expert support and offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to give them a try for yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description below. Massive thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Remember that is code SOUNDHEAD to get yourself safe and secure with Surfshark VPN. And with that, let's head to the track. Let's go race it. Just a mountain of wheel spin off the line here at Coyote Park, but we are off and away for the first time, and we've got Mark Martin, our arch nemesis, starting right behind us to spice things up from the get-go. Here at Pocono on steroids. That ought to be fun. Harrison Burton with the door check, making us three wide. We gotta let off into the first corner. Because I do not want to eat that wall. Oh, we got cars going around in front of us. We're eating that Hooters. Take it straight to the face. Oh, my word. The side of his car just caved in. That incident might call for a couple of tarps, and I'm still wrecking trying to get away from this. We got terrible rejoins here. And some more of them here, and me and Steve Park into it. Just get out of there, and the trampling from behind gonna continue. That's Danica Patrick, get off of me. Look at the state of me, two health points. Not even a minute in. Got a minefield of depleted machines up here. They're moving around too. There goes Steve Park out of this whole thing. The bandit's gone. Gonna take some spots. Slowly but surely, my car can't even go through the corners barely anymore, though. These two points. I might be the Iron Man of Wreckfest. I don't know. That's a bold claim. But to haul a car with two health points to the finish line without getting obliterated is a miracle. First race, first replay of the day. Have to take a look at this opening crash. Kowicki or whoever's in the seven with one of the worst accidents you can see. And we saw it first thing in the day. Just off one. We got tossed around pretty good, too. Just a smorgasbord of destruction here in turn one. Headed on to the first straight, and it just went ugly fast. Debris everywhere. Tires flying. Quarter panels flying. Looking like a junkyard. Strongly resembling a yard of junk. This looks like a camera angle NASCAR would use on TV. Let's use this. The violence of which the seven hit the wall was tremendous. The continuation from the other side. Tires flying everywhere once again. You know, it's going to be a good day when that's the first run. Operation Don't Get Memed On into turn one as it go. The bump and run, though, on lay speed is a go to, and he comes down. Why would you do this? Look at the pile that we're being inseminated in. Oh, I've been killed. Why? I feel like Miss Puff. Why lake speed? Why? Oh, and the takedown from Cole Trickle. Bill Elliott mini packing me from behind and into the 28 and Davey. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, and another hit. Terrific. This car is just hurting, man. One lap in. Not even a full lap in. And we're not the only ones that are hurt. Look at this. That's DW over there. Just barrel rolling. No stranger to that. And oh my god, Ty Dillon. They landed Castle. Oh, I can't dodge the moving slalom. And it ends in a horrific accident. Well, back to the replay booth to evaluate another meme-tastic turn one where we just were destroyed after Lake Speed did not accept the bump and run. Uh, but we did accept a pounding at the hands of the field. And if you need any more proof of Terminators, watch me have to dodge every car in the field until Landon Castle comes out in the Jimmy car 
and does everything again. And then I get my head caved in here in a second. Look at that. As we're looping back around. I want to see this fence view again of turn one as it all goes horrendously wrong. That was a huge impact. There's something kind of beautiful about eight cars just moving in one destructive harmony down the racetrack. And then a few more come in and they pick up the scraps. Let's see if I can free cam view this last set of incidents here as DW got launched by Jimmy. Then Jimmy himself gets turned and Michael Waltrip takes one right to the door of the Snickers car. We barely miss, but Castle in the Jimmy car gets us in. And let's watch as Mr. Snickers' man comes back for his and gets his piece. So going through the first corner cleanly may be impossible. Getting this much wheel spin should not be possible. Get off of me. Oh, Danica, please. No, with the hookage. Why? Please. 15 seconds in. Ow. I think I just... I just reverse ass packed Danica out of this race, you poor thing. And even though we got destroyed early, they still managed to crash and turn one. Jeez, the Levi Garrett car almost destroyed us to the outside with the squeeze. I might be Neo from the Matrix with these dodges, dude. These clowns, first of all, if I breathe on Bill Elliott, I, I, do I do it? It's such a, oh, oh no, this has backfired horrendously, no. Oh, no. Get your foot in. Oh, I'm right in the traffic lane, though. Damn it. I find the dumbest ways to get myself killed. Perennial Darwin Award winner Ed Soundhead off into the high side of the corner. Could we make a squeeze out here? Absolutely not. The seven car, entirely different agenda, and I'm just looking at my own driver. Okay, yeah, another successful entry. I've seen junkyards cleaner than what we're seeing right now, and why would you ever throw it in reverse right there? Look at the damage. The seven, the seven just getting beat down all kinds of ways today. Here comes the pass. All right, Kevin Harvick. What? Oh my God, what the hell? Why did we just get launched and then I take one of the face from the Quaker? F7, it isn't a wreck unless the seven shows his face in some capacity. Look at me. Oh yeah, turning with full throttle, no longer an option that, yeah, yeah. Five health points. I love to see it. There goes the truck. Here goes my life. Yep, there it is. Gone. Out the window. Can I just body slam Harrison so I can get some entry space? This is not helping, though. This could not have been more botched if we tried it. No, oh, straight it out. Oh, no. Oh, what a clown show. And I might as well be dude with a clown from Clownsville. This is turning into the entire circus. All right, so leave me alone. Let me try the bottom, everybody. Oh, my. Okay, I botched the bottom, but don't anybody worry about it. We were fine. Let it be known that we were fine. Until the AI said no. This was a conscious Terminator decision right here to lay me in this heap. Once again, with what might be the greatest turn one of all time. Maybe. Let me know a better one. The, the bandit cannot. He no longer can because he's been removed from this world and a couple guys trying to remove themselves from the racetrack, but they can't go straight through the wall and neither can I as I'm learning. It's Noah Gregson. It was Noah Gregson. Oh, he, oh, he just got, he just missed a vicious team bump while I'm burying my car three feet deep in the wall. Listen to that clicky wheel. Like a beautiful serenade in the night. A lot better than this 12th place finish. Back in the replay booth to look at another one, see if you could teach us any lessons of what went wrong. And ah, yes, the golden rule, never be anywhere near a Terminator. Should have known, should have known, but you know what? These things happen, it can't do anything about it. As we used to say often, sometimes you just gotta take the debt. And the bandit did exactly that right here as we just deliver metric tons of force directly to the driver's door. Okay, Lake Speed, give me the lane this time. And then Noah Gregson immediately blocks it half a car length in front of him. No, I was almost clear of this all. I flew over the pack though. Hold on, we might be able to drive away from this still. This is count. Then, sadly, that might be the cleanest first corner we've had yet today. Jeez, we just missed one. Oh my God, look ahead. Come on, Bill. Let me have the spot. I don't have all day to mess with you. We're running out of time. Oh, I got a car in my lane. Bill's, Bill set the pick. He set the pick for destruction. Oh, 
Oh, Bill, you took yourself to the cleaners and I'm not far behind. Well, our race is over. We... I'm flipping this bad way around. If I'm gonna get sunned like that, I'm sunning someone else. Come here, Colt. Come here. Take me out of my miss. Yeah, I'll get you better. I'm in awe that Bill would do that. You guys are really taking your lives into your own hands doing this three wide. Get it figured out, Steve. Sorry, I kind of pushed you there, but oh my God, are we gonna make it work on the high side? No, we're not. It's gonna collapse on us. No, we're gonna get Greg Biffle. Oh, Biffle's out of the race. I'm sorry we took out the Biff, but we survived. Oh, look at this. We got a crash up here in the tight front stretch. No, don't do it, Harry Dent. Comes up to sure death. You couldn't have made a worse move if you tried. Looks like we're gonna get some free spots here from the junkyard. Cars laying upside out. Cars stuck in the racing room up against the wall. That is not what you like to see. Another one trying to make the pass on me. Who's this? Neil Bonnet. Getting the run off of turn four. Put it in my door. All right, Neil. Okay. You get back. Oh, watch out, Harvick. Oh. Just creams the sit and still car. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, come on, man. We just took out Neil Bonnet, too. Whack. The dream is dead. The dream has been just once again stomped upon. And the next car that comes by, as there's a pack of coming by right now, are going to be the enders of my existence. Thank you very much. I appreciate the assist. Wish I could just get a ride up on the fence. Oh, we might send Lake Speed up there. Oh, my. Oh, open up the hole. No, it's going to close again. Lake Speed just sandwiches us between the wall. And is this going to be a pirouette? Oh, my God. It is actually a pirouette. And stuck on the side we go after a hit from Harvick. Still nothing. I'm calling that a race right there. Come on, Mark Martin. Give me the push. Give me the push that I absolutely don't need and that does nothing. Noah Granks with the two wheel. Oh my, Danica, 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 Danica. Why? What was accomplished or gained? Look at the five doing the dance right now. Oh my, the regular car, Davey. Davey, don't hit me, please. Thank you. Well, here comes Davey again. He's coming back. Lake speed. Oh, Lake, what is this? Explain it. Explain how they do it. The Terminators get me every time I'm going to put Lake speed three rows deep if I get the chance before getting packed. Clean through my own insides. I'm just waiting here. I'm I, again. Yes, come on. You know you want to. We're not done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Space Force to the parking lot. Well, you know we had to come to the replay booth because we couldn't even keep it inside the park this time. That's incredible. But it all started with Danica taking us to the infield for a tailgate party with the fans. And luckily, we were able to continue with that, but not after dodging another minefield down the back stretch. Dare I say it was going good. And we have the pass by Lake Speed, if you could even call it that, which is really just a takedown. I mean, putting MMA fighters to shame with, with the way that he just took me to the mat right there. And then as we flip it around, you'll see quite ominously in the background, the bandit getting closer and closer without me even realizing it. And then the double pack. We'll soon follow, but first we get one in the door from the seven. The seven showing his face for a crash once again in about three, two, one. And then never forget what you're about to see. The ultra packing. Oh, the humanity. See if we can get that outside rolling again and right into the wall we go. Neil Bonnet's taking out the field for me. He took everybody out, even like speed. Oh my God, we got a clean start. We cannot waste this opportunity. That turn one is where we gain most of the time. And look at these wrecking idiots. Oh, take it to the dirt. Just take it to the dirt. I'm too scared to throw this away. Top six right now. Oh, why don't... You idiots, why are you going to do this to me? Don't. Oh, my God. Talk about clench. How do we get by that? Oh, we just... Oh, are they wrecking? The leaders are crashing. The leaders are wrecking. I'm just going through the infield. I don't even care. I do not care. Just send it. I am not letting this opportunity slip away to the lead. And we're going to come out of this corner to one to go. 
But Harvick up in the wall. Tide ride laying in the middle of the lane, please. I do not need this to be any harder than it already is. Can we clear the minefield and junkyard? Without somebody pulling out on us, it seems so. This was where all the cars just got caught up last lap. Can they all, are they all immobilized? It looks like mainly everybody is. Is anybody gonna have a say in this at all? Looks like we're home free, boys and girls. Out of turn four down the final straight across the line. Give me the golden dub as we are just losing it across the line. I don't know what is going on to my driver. Just gave up driving, but we did it. Didn't even get the fastest lap. I am a bum. But who needs the fastest lap as we get cleaned out even after the race is well and over. Hand that dub straight to me. I'm putting it front and center in the cabinet. Well, there you have it in the replay booth for the final time today after one of the more brutal tracks in Wreckfest. We have learned our lesson on this one and we'll show you how we got this dub. We're driving through the dirt. We'll free cam a little bit here in the corner to show you what happened to the leaders. They all got taken out and then you'll see us just sliding through the dirt like Doc Hudson teaching them how to drive. And everybody else just lay in waste behind us. Check the onboard shot. Seeing everything that happened here, just riding the high side. Looking back, look at the destruction. We have to give massive kudos to the 27 for making that happen and getting us through there. And you have Dingus 1 and Dingus 2 up here, trying everything they can to get me to lose this race. And luckily we were able to just breathe on the throttle and get through there. Then we have the final wreck of the day, just chaos in turn four and not a whole lot of turning right to go left there, but we are going left and that's what matters to the lead. And then across the line and our driver just forgets how to motor vehicle as he gets there. Can't explain that one, but I respect it. So that will pretty much do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for me. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And with that, I will see you in the next one.